Madami nagtatanong sa akin about uh, Francis, what do you do as a senior photographer sa isang cruise ship? And in today's episode, sasagutin natin yan. So let's go! Okay, so welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, my name is Francis and ako po ay isang full-time photographer sa isang cruise ship. Now you can find me also at my website at francisalmores.com So a little bit of disclaimer lang. So what I am about to say are just based on my personal experience and knowledge. So each cruise line and photo department has their own structure on how they organize their team. So I am not speaking for everybody here. And the company that I am currently working on doesn't have any creative control on this video. Okay, so before I tell you my duties and responsibilities, so let's understand first how the photo department structure here in our company. So I'm going to tell you some of the photographer position and some of the management position as well. So I will, I have here my paper and so mag-ano mo tayo, analog version muna tayo. And so let's understand first yung mga different uh, photography position here on board. So we have uh, we have three kinds of photographer. So so we have level one photographer. Then we have level two. And we have level 3 photographer. So I'm not going to elaborate yung uh, duties and responsibilities of each one of these because baka abutin tayo ng maghapon dito. So basically, so these are all the photographers. So starting from level 1, so mostly these are the uh, first time on board. So ito yung mga talagang walang experience pagdating sa cruise line photography. So level 1 and then you will be promoted to level 2 to level 3. Then we have a senior photographer. So we have also tinatawag natin tinatawag namin a uh, portrait artist or uh, to to better to understand it is that we call it also a private photographer as well then we have two assistant photo manager so one in production production and one in sales then we have the photo manager so this how the organizational structure we have here on board so from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 you can choose the next step up is either a uh, private photographer or to become a senior photographer. It depends also on the level and skills that you have. Now, as a senior photographer, you can choose between assistant manager for sales and assistant manager for production. So again, it depends on your levels and skills and what really interests you. If you're going to ask me as a senior photographer, I can say I am I am more on technical person, so I really love uh, when it comes to computer and technical stuff. So I'm really not into that sales. So I'm choosing now as my next step up as a assistant manager to production. I am currently training as a, a production assistant manager. So that will be. Hopefully, that will be my next step up, the next uh, coming contract. And let's see, let's see. Okay, so let's talk about some of my duties and responsibilities as a senior photographer here on board. So as I said, is uh, I am choosing now as a assistant photo manager for production as my next step up level. So as a senior photographer, so I am currently in charge when it comes to machine maintenance. So most of my time is I spend on printing, editing pictures, 
So I am currently in charge as well when it comes to production quality. So making sure that exposure is right, posing in the portrait portraits are right the photo equipment is uh, in good condition so as a senior photographer as well so i am currently as a supervisor so some of my colleagues and so i am currently in charge as well sa uh, photo laboratory maintenance and some of the admin works like uh, reporting sales report sa mga laboratory inventory mga equipment mga supplies so ako, uh, i am currently working on it so as a senior photographer as well, so I am supervising and coaching some of the photographers that uh, needs to improve their skills to be able to, to step up to the next level. Okay, so it doesn't mean that I'm not shoot as a photographer or I'm not shoot ng mga event. In fact, I made a vlog here, so you can check it here, about how my day looks like as a uh, photographer, so you can check it here. So I can say in most cases, 70% uh, of my time is spent on laboratory like uh, what I said is photo editing, machine maintenance and so on and 30% of my time here on board I can say I spend like shooting event portraits, uh, gangway dining, it depends so sometimes as well I go to the uh, what we call this uh, photo gallery. Photo gallery is uh, kung saan is sales is happening. So doon nagbibenta ng mga pictures, ng iba pang mga retail item. So it depends sa uh, particular day. So there are times na I'm shooting whole day from from morning to evening. So whole day ako nag-shoot without uh, spending my time sa photo laboratory. And there are times naman na full day ako sa photo laboratory. So whole day ako nag-edit and pictures and printing and machine maintenance so it depends on particular day okay so there you have it so those are some of my duties and resp responsibilities as a senior photographer here on board so before i end this video so if you haven't heard about my uh, weekly email newsletter called monday meetup so each monday i am sending just a simple email about uh, life here on board some productivity tips and as well some learnings that I gathered throughout the week. Check my website at francisalmores.com. So once again, thank you for watching and if you have any question, let me know and I will try to answer that. And see you in my next video. Bye-bye.